Hey YouTube, it's day two, day two of Veda. Today I have been working on a custom pet portrait for a sweet little pup named Maya. And I was very lucky in that the original photo on this one was high resolution and the lighting was perfect. Too often people send me photos that are kind of dark or out of focus or the resolution's gone, like they've uploaded it to Facebook or they've gotten it from a friend's Facebook profile, they've downloaded it and it was, you know, something's been done to it to crunch the resolution out of it. Our phones take high resolution beautiful images these days, but the trick in submitting it for something like printing or custom pet portrait work or something, you've got to get it to the service provider, the person doing the artwork or doing the printing, you've got to get it to them at a high enough resolution that they have some detail to work with. And so yay, Maya's, <laughs> Maya's photo was great and uh, I had fun playing with it. And um, I always show my clients, I'm going to cycle through some of these proofs at the end so you can see the range. I show them different compositions on the custom pet portraits, different background options, maybe a pattern, maybe solid. I don't just print it and ship it. I let them see what they're getting and let them choose their favorite color combo. Uh, so it's very customized, um, which is nice because some people are drawn into my work because of the bright colors. But then sometimes when they see blue highlighting on their pup, they're like, oh, my pup's not that color. And it's like, well, you're being very literal. <laughs> Have you seen my work? <laughs> Have you seen my own hair? <laughs> you know, um, I like color. and um, But I will show some tame options for people just in case they're a little more on the conservative side. Because um, sometimes they are, even though, you know, even though they're pulled in by my color on the website, they're like, oh. So yeah, I like to show a variety. Um, and then I offer tweaking if it's needed, just one round of revisions if that's necessary. I had to draw the line with one because some people would play art director forever. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, I uploaded those and the client will get back with me. Uh, that's all I know. It's day two. I'm um, teaching tonight, so not a whole lot's going to happen this afternoon. Uh, I may pay some bills and do a little uh, office work kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's um, vlog every day April, so just going to be showing you guys what I'm working on. And today it is dog art. So yeah, check me out at artpaw.com if you want to see more of the pet portrait work I do. I've been going out this for about... 20 years now, <clears throat> and um, I have scaled the business back to where it's a lot more manageable. I used to do five or six portraits a week and with more during the holidays, and I have kind of slowed down with the marketing, and which means I'll get this done, and it might be a few days, and then another one will trickle in, and by doing fewer, I'm able to put more creative time into each project. I don't feel so hurried and so rushed. And um, I'm able to do my other artwork too, mosaics and mixed media collage, all the other stuff I like to do. So yeah, but I do like doing the pet portraits, so don't get me wrong. Visit me at artpaw.com if you know somebody with a birthday coming up. It's a great gift because we all love our dogs. We all love our cats. We all love all the animals we have in our life. So I've even done horses and gerbils and... The weirdest one was a goldfish once. Goldfish don't have tons of personality in my opinion, but I know a guy that has fish that would probably debate that. But anyway, the goldfish was challenging. But yeah, whatever your pet, we can create artwork of it. So anyway, yeah, check out artpaul.com. And um, tomorrow, maybe if it's nice, I'll get out in the garden and we'll play out there and I'll show you some of the plants that uh, are happening this week. So anyway, have a good one.